this is the fashionable citizen. Hey, law students and curious minds alike. Today, I'm diving deep into an exciting topic, New York's state constitution. This isn't just any document. It's a cornerstone of legal and political life in the Empire State. So let's get started. New York's Constitution, much like the federal U.S. Constitution, is a living document designed to govern state affairs. But unlike the relatively stable U.S. Constitution, New York's has been through several iterations, the latest being ratified in 1938. And here's where it gets interesting. The Constitution is organized into roughly 20 articles. Each one deals with different aspects of state governance and public policy. We start with Article 1, the Bill of Rights, which protects those fundamental rights we hold dear, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and even a few unique ones like the right to unionize. Moving through the document, Article 2 secures the right to vote, and Article 3 outlines the state legislature's structure and powers. Unlike the U.S. Congress, New York's legislature is quite detailed in its constitutional prescriptions. Now, let's talk amendments. Unlike the rigid amendment process of the U.S. Constitution, New York's Constitution is more flexible. Amendments can be proposed by a majority in the state legislature, and after passing, they need to be approved by the voters in a statewide election. This has led to a dynamic, evolving constitutional framework. But what makes New York's Constitution truly unique? First, it includes detailed provisions on environmental conservation. Article 14, for instance, is entirely devoted to the conservation and protection of the state's forest preserve. It's a robust commitment to environmental protection that you won't find in many other state constitutions. Second, the Constitution's labor relations are forward-thinking. It includes provisions that guarantee the right to organize and bargain collectively. This is a clear nod to New York's rich history of labor movements and underscores the state's progressive stance on workers' rights. Third, the commitment to social welfare. Article 17 mandates the state to aid the needy and promote the welfare of its citizens. It's a powerful statement about the role of government in ensuring a safety net for its people. In conclusion, the Constitution of New York is not just a list of legal do's and don'ts. It's a living, breathing document that reflects the values, challenges, and aspirations of New Yorkers throughout the state's history. Whether you're a law student, a practicing attorney, or just a curious citizen, understanding this document gives you a deeper insight into the legal landscape of New York. That's a wrap for today. If you found this overview helpful, be sure to dive deeper into each article and amendment to fully appreciate the scope and depth of New York's constitutional commitments. Thanks for tuning in and keep those legal eagles flying high.